Welcome to Lost Skis. I'm Blaine, and today on Nike vs. Jordan, we're going to be taking a look at the Air Jordan 3 and the Nike Air Assault. So back in the late 80s, uh, Jordan brand put out Michael Jordan's third basketball shoe, the Air Jordan 3. Iconic elephant print, Jordan brand, first time it ever, uh, the Jordan logo, first time it ever showed up on a Jordan shoe, and also the huge Nike stamp on the back. Around the same time, they also put out the Nike Air Assault. And it didn't come out in this low top version originally in the 80s. Uh, this was the retro version from 2006, but there were still some striking similarities between the two. So we have the Air Assault here and you'll notice that it is not elephant print, but it's covered in a safari print, which is, you know, kind of on par with the elephant print. It has the same lacing system as the Air Jordan 3. This particular variant has the same sole, in, in the mid late 80s, it, the sole was a little bit different. It was closer to um, uh, Alpha, Nike Alpha series, I think. But but for the for the remake, they decided to go with the same sole as the Air Jordan 3, same branding there. And also you have the, uh, the Nike Air branding on the shoe as well. So for those that don't know, and I don't know if this is facts or not, but I feel like a lot of times Nike would create a certain shoe and then Jordan brand would elaborate on that shoe or vice versa. Jordan would put out a shoe and then they would put out a Jordan brand less or just a Nike generic version of that shoe for people that didn't want to rep Mike or maybe that they didn't have enough money to buy the Jordan variant of that particular shoe. So when it comes to the Air Assault and the Air Jordan 3, um, the same guy designed both of the shoes. It was uh, Tinker Hatfield, you've probably heard of him, famous shoe designer, did a lot of the Jordan brand stuff. And um, recently, about four years ago, uh, Nike released the Air Jordan 3 Retro Tinker Edition, which relies heavily on the first design of the Air Jordan 3, which if you notice, it has a little bit of a Nike check there. Color blocking is a little bit different. It also has the Nike branding on the inside, Nike brand on the back and the sole, same sole as the three. And to me, it seems like this one is kind of like a crossbreed between the Assault with the little Nike check there, as well as um, the Nike branding on the inside. You can't see the Nike branding on the inside on the low, but on the high top, we'll get a picture up. You can see that there is that Nike branding. So for me, I feel like these shoes were counterparts and one was for the Jordan fan and the other one was for maybe somebody that wasn't so so strong for Jordan or, or the Bulls, but still wanted to be in a cool basketball shoe with a exotic print as it were. But what do you guys think? Was the Air Assault inspired by the Jordan or was the Jordan inspired from the Air Assault? Eh, they were both created by the same guy, but which one are you taking? I remember back in 2006, you know, threes, we had had threes for a little while and we were, we were a little bit more excited about the Assault, especially the high top edition, but that novelty wore off after about three, four months after everybody started wearing them. And these days I, couldn't imagine wearing an air assault in the low top or the high variant. I'm sticking with the threes. Let me know what you think though. Thanks.